Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 111, 111. Kind of cool looking number. If it was binary, it'd be much smaller, but still kind of cool looking. And at end of August, we're rolling along. Today is going to be a short meeting. We'll do triage, we'll do some questions and comments, and then we'll probably roll out of here. So it won't surprise me if we have a 15-minute meeting, because I don't even know if there's anything interesting to discuss in the triage. Um, as always, we're going to record this short meeting for those of us that are here right now. Um, for sorry, for those of that aren't with us right now, those that are here right now can always go back and rewatch it if you want. I know Bob will go back and take notes um, and post them up on the Fire Giant website if you want to get those. And you don't want to sit and watch the what might be a 15-minute meeting if I move on with the rest of the meeting. So, doing so, triage. Bob, you ready? I'm set. All right. I know I got through that so fast. Sometimes I get ahead of you, and you're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, I'm not ready." Um, not many things, and I don't think they're going to be too contentious. Uh, this pre-build, references are built before that, yada, yada, yada. Um, we've asked no for a log twice now, so does that mean we just kind of resolve it with you know no response and move on? Yep. Yep. Sweet. Make it so. Uh, remove repair commands from .NET Framework. Um, yeah, I think we made a mistake. Bob and I have talked about this a few times, I think Sean too that probably adding the repair commands on .NET Framework are probably not the right thing because it's not like that you want your app to repair the .NET Framework, which will like you need a restart and yada, yada, yada. So I think we should remove the repair command or at least comment it out so people that want it could go see it and it'll be there. Sure. Um, the question is when? Do we do this in four or do we do this in three? Probably four? Yeah, I, I guess four. And just not surprise anybody in three? Yeah. All right. Yeah, four. Four. Um, the Wix binary zip use a different folder structure. Yes, this is a thing we want to fix in four, and that is a duplicate of this, right? And then the guy suggested duplicating a whole bunch of paths and stuff. I'm like, no, we're not going to do all that. We should. We talked about order. that when this first came up in that bug, and no. uh, you know, uh, uh, if it were just the the binaries. It was just a zip. I'm like, eh, okay, whatever, but I don't want to maintain duplicate setup authoring like that. I don't either. So we'll still fix this in four. Carrying on. Wix uninstalls triggered from apps and features in Windows 10 doesn't work. So, Sean, did you decide if this had your fix in it or not? Um, I didn't get a chance to check for sure, but that looked like my error in the log, the... Okay. Where it's uh, snippet there, to it. shell X. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's the shell X. All right. So we still have a Windows 10 issue. So we should go tell this guy that he should go take this to Windows 10. Agreed. All right. Cool. Go put on their user voice or wherever you send Windows 10 features. So uh, we've done all that we can do on this, and probably more than we should have at a certain level. All right. So we'll go send that off. Um, so, yes, this is another thing that we've talked about before, of uh, removing the uh, package element and things like that. So this is a thing, a issue to track the, the whip, which is out on that blob, which will eventually get, I assume, pull requested into the website. It is. All right, cool. So maybe we could tweak that link to point to the website. And oh, I sure. say we drop this um, in four and have some discussion on Wix devs if people want to agree or disagree with it. I generally agree with it, so I'm, I'm good there, but if people disagree, we should have that discussion. But not right here. Um, if we should take this issue to track it, even if we end up taking it, or even if we end up deleting it, or whatever. Uh, not taking it. And then documentation website has a couple errors. Uh, this is almost, the first one is almost certainly that we have a link inside a table that got compressed, and now we have to switch to the, because you can't have markup inside a block of HTML um, in common mark. They're more strict about that. So that's probably what that first one is. Um, and then the second one is just a typo. So we should take these in web. Yes? Sure. All right. Too bad he didn't just edit inside GitHub and send a pull request for that. 
make it really easy to edit the website like that. Anyway, moving on. Anything else anybody else wants to talk about? I knew this was going to be a fast meeting because there wasn't going to be anything contentious in the, the um, issues, really. Things people want to talk about. The usual suspects. I think we're all kind of on the same page. Join the end of summer. Going to be fall soon, for those of you in the northern hemisphere, anyway. Um, anything else? All quiet. All right, cool. I think we'll call that a meeting. Uh, nice little triage meeting. And uh, when we get a little less busy, which I know I say often, but it really is true right now, um, then maybe we need to go dig into a few more pull requests and things like that. Otherwise, uh, you guys keep going, and uh, we'll talk to you in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.